Now let's look at how to change the charging parameter by using the Debroad maintenance tool. Turn the AGB control power off to prevent the AGB from starting suddenly during the procedure. If the power transmitting unit is nearby, turn its power off. Turn the power off on the power receiving unit and turn the charge mode off. Note that you can't change the parameter settings when the automatic charge mode is on. Open the power receiving unit's USB connection cover. Connect the PC and DBROAD with a USB cable, taking care not to scratch the cover or other parts. When you have connected the USB cable, turn on the power on the power receiving unit. Start the software on the PC. Select the COM port. If there are multiple COM ports, check the port number in the PC's control panel or device manager settings. If the connection is not displayed, click the refresh button. Enter 123 as the password. Click the login button. The parameter settings screen appears after logging in. Check that automatic charging is set to off. The setting is shown here circled in red. You will not be able to change parameter settings if automatic charging is not set to off. The software is set to acquire the parameter settings automatically at startup. If items were not acquired properly, clicking a button with a parameter name on it acquires the current value of that parameter and displays it in the setting input field. Clicking the button marked Get Current Settings acquires all the battery profile parameter settings and displays them in the setting input fields. To change a setting, enter the desired value and then click the Set button. After that, click the green button to save the parameter to the unit. Parameter descriptions are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Click the green button marked Save Settings to save the parameter settings. The saved parameter settings will remain in memory even if the power receiving unit's power is turned off. Make sure that you have entered and saved the parameter settings correctly. Exit the parameter changing software and turn the power receiving unit off. You can output files of operation logs, error logs and lists of parameters set in the unit.